Well, uh, good afternoon, good morning, and I'm not quite sure what time it is for our guest uh, today. Probably uh, stupid o'clock in the morning. Um, welcome to another edition of uh, Two Old Farts Making Noises. You can find us on www. Sorry, Steve, it's shameless now to promote it all. www.twooldfarts.vip. The VIPs are Steve and I. We're very important people. But what is also really important are the very important guests, um, which we are trying uh, very hard to get onto the show. And today we're absolutely thrilled to have uh, Jonas uh, Bollard with us today. My apologies if I if I pronounced your name wrong. Just you just oh, okay. It does. I, I, I've done it. He's okay old, today. Jonas, so he's lucky he can yeah. read with the yeah. glasses. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> and, and you later on. I'll have to drop out of this uh, as I normally have to because the nurse comes. But outside <laughs> of that, but a little bit of a bio. We try not to know too much about our guests, but I had a bit of a sneak today, and it would appear that you are an author. And I was a bit intrigued about that. How did you become an author? Did you self-publish? Or if you didn't self-publish, tell me how to publish a book, because I'm sure I've got a book inside of me and I want to go and publish one. Well, I'll tell you what, we all have books inside of us. We all have great stories inside of us. It's being written, being displayed every day. Um, I'm in the midst of publishing them. I have two books. One is the, called The Basic Guidebook, of, Guide, Basic Guidebook to Life. And the other one is called, it's more of a guideline. It's called the 10 step expansion of self. Me personally, I've never been a writer, honestly. You know, I just grown through my experiences. You know, life, life really hit me a lot. And I, I realized that, you know, hey, I'm it. <laughs> you know, that game we used to play when we were kids, tag, you're it, you're it, yes, you're it, yes. And then I, I was able to just kind of translate what's just going on. This is life is a display of your own internal activity. So I got into to write and expressing myself and I spent a lot of time with myself and being being sure to express myself from that divine place that's within us all. Um, so it, it, it was a process, you know, but as I expanded myself, it was an easy process because life is what you make it. So if it's hard, easy is there too. So yeah, now how long did it take you to write the books? Did it, was it, and I'm tongue in cheek here. Did it take you like, Ooh, I've got an inspiration. You got up one morning at 2am you went clicky, clicky, clicky done. Or was it a few months or a few years of a process to write the books? Uh, it's, it's a process. So personally me, Jonas, uh, as an individual, I wanted to keep it really kind of short here. Honestly. Um, I didn't really want anything too over extensive because I want to be something you keep coming back to, you know, we forget a lot of things, honestly, you know, if we had the whole introduction and probably forgot what we just said, you know, right. Just only the dominant part stick there. So I'll keep it kind of short. Uh, I went to the park over, you know, maybe a week span and I just wrote, wrote, wrote maybe about two hours, three hours, you know? So my first one's a real short one. Uh, my second one, the 10 step expansion itself is more of a guideline. That's more, that's really, really short. You know, you just keep coming back to, um, I can go over those 10 steps too, as well. I love it. Um, you know, we'll go. No, tell us the 10 steps, yeah. please. Please, yes, I, I will. Like, tell us. I'm going to inter so. interrupt you in between, Jonas, because I've got this got this vision in my head. You're yeah. saying you went to the park and wrote it. Are you are you old school now? Did you is it a pen and paper job, or are you out there with your laptop? Um, and then, and then, uh, you, then you can tell us about the steps. Notebooks, okay, notebooks, yes, pen and paper, yes, pen and paper. Um, no, cell phone. Okay. Quick notes, cell phone, quick notes, pen and paper phone, it really jots it out there. Um, so yeah, I slip in and out of an accent sometimes too when I talk, it's just what's in me is just going hey, on. I love okay. it, just let it flow. Yeah, I'm just yeah. letting you guys know. So step I number speak, one. I speak New York sometimes, which is we yeah. use the F word as a comma, so we're good, You're, don't even worry about it, you're fine. <laughs> All right, so step number one, space is the human imagination calling you forward. Now that's a quote specifically from Terrence McKenna. I am all the way agreeable in that quote. And I start off with that there. Uh, I think that's a wonderful quote there. And this 10 step expansion of self is all for you to help expand your own awareness. So, so brighter and beyond, of course, if one expands, all expands. All is one, one is all. So number one, space is the human imagination calling you forward. Number two, be empty with such fullness. Being empty with such fullness. That sounds like a huge contradiction, but at the same time, the contradiction is the clarity. It leaves you right here, exactly right here. 
Life is all about balance. If you don't know that, we have, to, we have to experience the excess of things. When you experience that, you got to experience the lack of things if you don't know. Well, now, where does that start and leave you? Yeah. Okay, number three, faith must be instilled where hope is. If I hope something is going to happen for me, oh, you can feel that doubt is still in the mist and the aroma in you. But if I really want that to happen for me, if I know that's going to happen for me, we live our life in the now and the results and the eternal now then I must have faith that is, it's here now and I have it now. No room for hope. Hoping is just to get you to faith. Hoping is to get you to knowing faith and to belief in yourself. Number four, the more you believe, the more they believe. I love that one too. <laughs> uh, know what you want, the rest will follow. That's number four there. One is all, all is one. It will trickle on, it will trickle on another. You know, the snowball effect, chain reaction, all that, it will trickle, trickle in another. You must have belief and stay firm in yourself. Number five, what you imagine give the same depths of reality. <laughs> Why so? Well, everything you see in front of you was first imagined before it was ever created. It was first imagined, it will eternally be imagined for you ever created. The microphone, this, this camera, this phone that we're using now to communicate, these headphones, the hat you're wearing, these clothes. Yes. So if I want to make something a reality for myself and get an idea within, within and outside of me, I must give the depths of reality that to make it so. Number six, number six, make a win now and there here. Is there any other time than now <laughs> to be honest with ourselves, to be very specific with ourselves just now? There, I must ask you this. <laughs> You're there where you guys are located, right? But you're also here if you were talking in your perspective as you are, you are now. Mm -hmm. So even when you're there, you're here as much as I am here now. So isn't there just a more overdrawn illusion of here? We're always here. We're always in the now. <laughs> so we must act within the now, you know? We must make win now, you know? Because the time is only now. <laughs> Number seven. Your wish is your command. My wish is my command. You're speaking to yourself here. This is a self-trip, a self-awakening experience. <laughs> you are the creator of your reality. So when it says your wish is your command, we all have that genie within us. We all have that genie within us, just like off Aladdin. He asked you to make a wish. And as an individual, as an identity, as you are, Jonas, you know, you guys here and everyone that's watching, your job is only to stake claim on what you want. Believe it so. Number five, you give what you imagine the depths of reality. It comes forth. It will draw itself forth. What shackles us is our beliefs about ourselves. Our beliefs within ourselves. And our faith within ourselves to stay consistent and firm in that. So that's number seven there. Number eight, I really like these, two, these, these last set here because I get into the friction side of things. So number eight, the hardest fight is giving it up. <laughs> Personally, I grew up a fighter, a scrapper, yes. Um, I made a pact with myself and my mom and I wrote her a letter that I would never get in a fight again. Um, I probably got in two more fights after that in middle school and then I cut it out in high school and I was just, you know, fightless after that. You know, I was learning to deal with things a little bit better, but the, excuse me, the hardest fight is giving it up, all right? So the hardest fight is giving up. It's so easy if, say so-and-so, you guys are out at a bar and this guy steps on your shoes or push you, or do something to just get you riled up. It's so easy to kind of give into your anger and just punch that guy. It's so easy if someone's just nagging at you just to have all these bad thoughts, just slap or whatever, you just do something, the physical abuse, it's so easy. But what's really hard is actually to give that up. As they say, to be the bigger man is to give up that internal contradiction that's eating away at you and to be the bigger man. Because what we do unto another, we do unto ourselves, and all is self. So we place ourselves within that pattern, within that game. But the hardest fight is actually giving it up. And when we learn to get out of our own way, everything becomes so much clearer. Everything, everything is given to you. Uh, so number nine, the only opposition is within. The only opposition within is within. And I use this here. I use the the numerical scale, 
that you know we all can just come into there. How do you got? How do you get to two? One plus one equals two. There's another way how to get to two, right? Zero plus two. One plus one equals two. The only opposition is within. One is an additional fact that at the same time, in opposition to oneself to manifest something exterior to yourself or the second object to a self or a person or being. The only opposition is within. So yes, we have this secret. This is where the eternal divide lays within us too. That's exactly why we're gonna keep fighting against this and wars that we're gonna keep doing that as much as we keep bringing everything together. The, the divide is within us, we're individuals here. You see, the only opposition is within. So you see how the one is in opposition to each other, an additional fact at the same time in opposition to manifest the opposition here, right? Zero plus two, the display is different. Zero, you can put one there and you can put two there where the two is and still create two. You see that surface and depths here, the division and difference only lives on the surface. But if you go inward, and search the depths of yourself and the greater clarity, because how you come into clarity of anything, you have to go in depth to understand anything. So the more you go in depth about yourself and anything that you're learning, you're gonna realize all is connected. So therefore the vision differences only live on the surface. For example, we see that we're different here now. We're illustrated different. You know, you have white hair, I have blonde hair, black hair there, mm -hmm. you know, all that stuff, you know. Uh, but we search within ourselves and we just talk, com communicate, conversate, you know. Hey, we're all alike as much as we are different. And that's what makes us special. There's no one up here. There's no one up here. What makes us special is that, boom, we're all the same and different. I'm never leading you out because we're so far included how we work in this life. <laughs> so number 10 there. If there's nothing you resist, then there's nothing that is against you. Oh, if there's nothing you resist, then there's nothing that is against you. That is a form of getting out of your way that falls into the order of allowing. We must get out of our way. Like I said, the only opposition is within. We must get, of our, get out of our way. We are functioning from an internal awareness that, are me that is measuring awareness that's beyond that. <laughs> It's very deep. It's very, very deep. You very know, cool. This is, you know, this is the trip. This is the trip. You know, I already consciously did this before I raised my hand physically. Life is a journey here. You see. <laughs> so yeah, let me ask so. this: When are your books? When will this book, the Ten Steps to Expansion of Self, when will oh, that man. be published? I want to get both of those out by the end of the year. Uh, okay. I'm really excited for that guideline. I wrote that so fast, you know, and okay. all I did was go back through my notes. I have notebooks and notebooks that I write. I just sit here and just write. It just comes to me, comes from within. I'm an autodidact. So that means self-taught, you know, mm -hmm. my good friend, Benjamin, you guys had on the show. Um, yep. <laughs> really, uh, we sat, sat together one time. He asked me years ago, Jonas, what was one thing that would you want in this world? It doesn't matter how obtainable it is, whatever. What is one thing that you want? And I, I sat there and told him that I wanted to be one with everything and want the entire universe and everybody and to know what this is, <laughs> you know? And, oh, you answer yourself. Yes, you answer yourself and everything comes from within. And yeah, um, yeah so I, I plan to get those out by the end of this year and maybe out okay. sooner. I'm really excited for that test step expansion. I use it daily in, in conversation with everyone, so. Well, when you, you publish, you, or you, when you publish, or if you want, you let us know, you come back and oh, you can yes. do like your first, when your books, you can like hold it up and everything and go, look, this is my book. Yeah. And then yeah, we'll I'll go come back, back to, for sure. Yeah. I definitely want you back for that. Cause yeah, that'd be like very cool. Guys. Yeah. yeah. So, well, you, that's you, because you, you remind you of your grandfather, the old guy in there, <laughs> the old guy with the white hair. I get it. You know, this guy, this guy, wait, wait this guy, right. Yeah, that guy over there. This guy. Yeah, yeah there over there. Yep. There you go. That guy. I get it. So he, he likes old people, David. That's his, his thing. So yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's a good that's always a good start, I think. Um Jonas, are you going to be uh, crowdfunding this? How are you going to finance these books? Because yeah. uh, you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot, there's a lot. Yeah, um, it's, that, you know, it's I, definitely I've, I've, at the beginning. I wasn't quite sure if you'd actually publish them, but this is a journey you're mm -hmm. still on. Yeah, so, yeah. So I'm looking to get them self-published. Yes, I want to do everything like self-published. I spoke with this one company. 
Uh, but my good friend, Benjamin, just having a show, was talking to me about this other publishing company that he was talking to that he kind of wanted me to go check out. So I'm in the midst of just, you know, seeing who can help me with that self-publishing ordeal. You know, I'm getting my feet wet in that, that category too. So if I want to know it, I got to get myself in it. I got to immerse myself in it, uh, learn it myself, you know. So. And, I th- and I know I had a friend of mine years ago that published, but he did it with Amazon and they do it. I guess it's, that's just like that. audio or PDF, I guess. It's not like mm-hmm. a book hardcover. So that's also, I think, a way to self-publish. But I'm not an expert. That's all I know. So. Yeah. Okay, but, yeah. So I did, uh, I recorded just two audio audio versions of my, of my book. So I do have that. I cool. probably will re-record them and probably get somewhere more professional suit, uh, set, you know, where I can get, right. <laughs> you but know, we're, the we're happy, background and all that. We're happy to add that to your profile on the, on the Two Old Farts uh, yeah, I appreciate web, it, website. Yeah. Certainly for people who want to, to have an opportunity listen. To, to, to listen to it. We're, we're, yeah. we're more than up for that. Yeah. Yeah, so, and also we are a podcast. So other than yeah. everybody gets to see our yeah. smiling faces, as David says, we have a face for radio. So people that don't <laughs> want to look at us can just listen to the podcast and maybe something cool for them as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That all but fits we, in there. there but we, we, we currently have uh, three podcasts available because, um, mm-hmm. you know, Steve's still, still got to try and work out how all the podcasting works. But once he's worked <laughs> that all out, we'll, we'll add some more, we'll add all the other guests to it as well. Um, because yeah, I mean, who'd want to look at this all day? You know, it's yeah. it's and, uh, and and when you're out and about, I mean, what a what a wonderful inspirational uh, talk you just gave us. Yes. Um, you you talked a lot about faith. Uh, is that your faith in yourself, or is that a faith in a, in a, in something which is larger than you? Something which is which you experience in your life that 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 so, uh, that take, takes up part of your life? Yeah, I can go in on that. Um, right here. I'm always going to be right here. So that goes for faith within myself and larger to myself. You know, uh, it's just much bigger than the individual here. It's just what's within us is the conscious and subconscious mind. That means, you know, the deliberate mind, the aware mind, the unaware mind, the individual and collective. You see how we're always included. The individual yeah. and collective we are always included. So as much as this part is bigger than me, it's not bigger than me as much as it is. That's exactly why we must, we must remain here. It is you. It is you. And, and you must remain here because you get off in the ego's game the moment you think you're better than someone, the moment you think you're less. We're all here. And that's something I'm very appreciative of because it's so easy to drift off in the feeling of power, authority, knowledge can even take you there all sorts of things, you know, and just to remain humble and just, you look into the eyes of another and see self, you know, the infinite self. Yeah. Uh, and we're, well, we're I walking for, amongst this. I, I remember when my children were very young, yeah, that was very mm-hmm. humbling, you know, just to, to look oh, in their eyes. Man, and, yeah, and, and it's an experience. That's, yeah, a big, that's something that I'd never had oh. before, uh, you know, just the absolute trust, the innocence. Uh, but what I was alluding to a little bit about the faith. I mean, is this a, is this a traditional faith? Is this a church faith that which which brings you to this point, or mm-hmm. is this uh, your own self development? Uh, self development. So autodidact. You know, everything self taught. Like everything came from self. I had to I had to throw out everything that I learned to relearn myself. You really come back, like as everything comes back. You really re- yes, it's a cycle. So you see that it's point. It's really pointless to make a point here. <laughs> as much because it's it's all here you know but the point is a clarifying point as much as it's a contradictory point as much as it's pointless so then i must ask what is it and it brings us to space there as i said number one is calling you for to bring clarity to the situation here if you desire to you know so faith is a self-development thing here um you know we come into this life and we're just putting things together and i realize that if i really want to know something i have to develop it myself I have to, I, and I threw everything out. I threw my religious beliefs out, threw everything out, and I just started all over. I had to poke my friend just to even see if he was real. <laughs> <laughs> I, I started all the way over, and I applied myself, and just from what I desired for myself, I had to be a burning desire as far as me being one with everything, and I just met myself. I applied it, and we traveled just fast, consciously, and it's like a supercomputer hooked up to me and I'm able to just explain it and connect it all. If you guys remember in school, you have these two columns of like scrambled, like, you know, words, you have to match them up here. And that's what I'm doing all the time. It doesn't ever stop for me. 
you know, when we were in school, it was on a cave wall. But we yeah, had the we, cave so wall, we still yeah. we had a, we had a <laughs> cave wall and a chisel. That's you know they drew with you know fig oh, leaves. But yeah, we we got that. So I, we I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually older than Steve, so we didn't get we didn't get chisels. We were still sort of blowing onto our hands with paint. <laughs> Oh, you know, man. The market, yeah, he's you very know. old. Yeah. Before electricity, <laughs> yeah. before electric dinosaurs were around when we were yeah. around. That's how old we are. So <laughs> when you were growing up, were were you was your family religious? And that kind of laid this foundation for your the faith oh. and the inspiration? Or was it sort of like, yeah, no big deal? And then you developed this as you got older. So yes, my family was very religious. My grandmother who just passed away last year, rest in peace. Uh, was very religious. Mom is too as well. Uh, so we kind of grew up with that in our face, you know, a little bit. But as I was a kid, just growing up, I have to be honest with myself at all times. I, I'm, I'm always, you know, the question mark you see right there in the background. It's, right. That's what it's like for me when I'm hearing this here, you know. <laughs> so that, that's why I always say, you know, it was something that has developed because I was always just unsure. I was always unsure. It's just you heard it and, you know, I have to experience it still to actually come to my own knowing, you know. So it wasn't that I just jumped and just, hey, decided to have faith in this, decided that. Not, yeah, it's, I definitely grew into it, you know. And, mm -hmm. and I felt like, you know, me, Jonas, personally, he always had a divine gift for just seeing everything all together. You know, as soon as we try to divide, I always felt like some friction in me, just the moment like I was dividing or even division was amongst us, you know. I just always was someone who appreciated the difference as much as the similarity. So I guess sure. that brings me and leaves me where I am now with everything. Yeah. So like the full circle. So yeah, man. There you go. Never stops. <laughs> That's very so, cool. So I'm I'm out for a walk. I'm wandering through the park. So what am I seeing? Yeah. Am I seeing Jonas sitting on a park bench? Oh uh, yeah. With, with, <laughs> with, with pile with with piles of uh, of his notebooks, <laughs> or your bag full of notebooks, uh, pencil writing rapidly writing all this stuff out. Now, oh man, I, I, I'm in New York. I'm in uh, Washington Square Park. I'm in all these beautiful places, and you'll see me sitting there, maybe with a backpack there, and just a book next to me and my notebook sitting there, and my legs crossed, and maybe some music in my ear, just smiling and writing. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, just taking it all, appreciating life, maybe having some gentle conversations with someone next to me and coming past. Yes, that's do you, me. Do you, do you get comments from people? Because oh, I, yes. I, was, I was watching this really bizarre, there's a bizarre series on Dutch TV about mm -hmm. things which are disappearing. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the night before, it was like the telephone, the old fashioned telephone you'd have at home. A lot mm -hmm. of kids don't even know how to use them because they've never seen one. You know, nobody has yeah. a fixed telephone in the lines anymore, certainly here in, in, in Holland. And there was, the conversation last night was about writing. Mm -hmm. You know, the guy said, well, I think in five years, people are going to forget how to write because, mm -hmm. you know, everybody's apping everything or yeah. emailing everything. So, you know, are, are you are you always going to write or are you, you know, is it going to be a mixture of medias for you? Because it's a really old fashioned thing, isn't it? The notebook, you know, the pencil, mm -hmm. uh, getting in the park, doing your stuff. People so must be looking at you and thinking, well, what's he doing? <laughs> what, what's, the, what's that yeah. thing he's got in his hand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I have multiple times, a lot of times, you know, oh, um, life compliments me because, you know, I compliment it. So there's multiple, multiple times, a lot of times I'm sitting out there, maybe the light is just hitting me beautifully and a lady will come up to me and ask me, what am I writing? And I'll just tell her, I'm just writing my, my, about life here, just what am I experiencing here? And I'm grateful for, thankful for, all that good stuff there. Um, writing can become a lost habit. The possibilities is, is in every single one of us at all times, yeah. you know, it's, it's never just that. It's never the thing. It's just you. It's left up to you because it comes down to you. But as much as it says it can drift off, it will stay. Everything comes back, you know. Uh, yeah. Writing will always stay with me, personally. You know, it will always stay with me. I grew really, very fond of it again. Um, and it's very helpful. Um, like I said, again, I did, 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 which, does, does that mean when you were doing that uh, as, as a young child, as an adolescent, were you, were you, were you writing a lot then? Uh, yes, due to school. <laughs> okay. no, I guess the, 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 you know the, they make the, you do in there the must yeah the must do school thing yeah right all that yeah stuff with, the, with that orange pencil when they teach you first how to start writing cursive yeah. i don't know if they taught yeah. that that's when i went to school in new york that's oh, what there was you sat in, with the with the orange calligraphy thing and you had to go yeah. write the alphabet and learn how to write between the lines and that uh, was a whole thing oh man so, yeah that was a trip right there itself 
Yeah. But yeah, did a school. I was, you know, writing, but then I drifted from it because I didn't find really didn't too much of a necessity for me, like, you know, yeah. other than just signing some here and there, you know. But it came back, you know, when like, you know, when all this came in for me. And what, what about your hand? What about your handwriting, Jonas? If you if you shoot me a yeah, shoot me one of those magical uh, notebooks that you have. Am I gonna be able to read it or is it oh, hier- mate. Hier- oh, hier- okay. hieroglyphics? Uh, I can talk to you. So some of it is very legible, but I want to talk about oh, that some too. of it. Some, some of it. That's, some that's of it's very problem. legible, but some of it, you know, and I really want to say this too. So this is why they say, you know, some of the smallest people in the world handwriting is, is sloppy. If you guys ever heard of that. Oh, you should see, see. You should see mine. It yes. looks like a, you know, a drunken spider. <laughs> well, he usually yeah, is drunk, so that that's out. why. So yeah. there you go. It's, it's, but, it's, the, it's the it's the meds, Stephen. It's the meds. Okay, magic. And mine's from the Scotch, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I want to say this. Just talk on that. Um, they they say that because in this that comes to you, the sparks of genius, the strokes of genius comes to you so quickly our scale and the time and every way to determine it is, is it's doesn't compare, doesn't compare. It comes to you so quickly that you have to jot it down. You have to jot it down, record it or write it out or it's gone. Even when you're writing it, it will leave you. So what about and, sleeping? Do you have that as well? I mean, I have a notebook by, by my bed because I have all these, what I would say to Steve, I call them brain farts, brain farts. And, and they just yeah. get stuck get stuck in my head and I can't get them out, you know. But mm-hmm. as soon as I write them, my father said to me once, write them down, whatever it is, write it down, yeah. and then it's, then it's somewhere. Is that, is that happening to you as well, at night as uh, well? I keep a notebook by me. I'm, I'm a very interesting person. I could talk about a lot of things, um, but a lot of, a lot of things that it's instilled in me, you know, um, I say this, I went to everywhere internally. So there's nowhere external, there's nowhere externally I haven't been. The only difference here is the illusion of the whole place and the changing of things. Um, so I do keep a notebook next to me, but even when I sleep and I, when I dream, I'm here as I am right now. So that's how one I am with everything, you know, I'm there. So I'm, I'm consciously aware like I am in my reality of my life here too. And sometimes I drift back off into the well, things are just happening. I'm on this flying bus in the air, you know, and I'm just there in my dream too. But sometimes, you know, the more I am here with myself, the more I am there too when I go off into the astral freight, astral world. But, you know, I'm great at interpreting everything stays within me. Like I'm always here. Like this never stops for me. Life's a cycle. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's very wise to keep a notebook next to you, jot some things down. Like I said, like those strokes of genius sometimes, maybe it's something you want and desire. And when you completely get off of it, that's when it comes to you. As I said, it's the art of allowing, you know, to get out of your own way. And your attention has to be completely off of it. Light resistant things rise as a balloon, as weights. It's easy to pick up. It's easy, Do you so suffer, it's from, easy. suffer from a writer's block as well? You, you think? Ooh, used to. <laughs> used to. <laughs> <laughs> that excited me. Yeah, used to. Yeah. Changed my perception on it, changed my mind about it. Everything changes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So that that's it. Life is what you make. You don't ever let it get outside of that. And the thing is, this is a this is a very, very what's I want to call it? Into a psychological interconnected uh, trip it's a it's a it's a very deep interconnected trip here and we're going to keep playing this game on ourselves to forget to remember and we're going to keep psyching ourselves out you know for example um we worry ourselves with the thoughts about society and others and if you really think about it it's only the it's only your thoughts that's worrying you you worry yourself so the thing is others others echo what you whisper in silence so if that's dominating you what you think or how you feel that's diminishing you Others are going to echo it in your reality because self appropriates itself to the experience and experience appropriates itself to self. You are it. You are its tag. So I I play that game, too, in my um, basic guidebook, a life book in a 10 step expansion. I said, we're going to play this fun game called tag. I'm going to keep bringing you back to seeing how you are it. And we'll derail ourselves. It's the name of the game. But if you want to stay here within yourself, you can see this life is exactly what you want it to be. If you want to feel like that you want to make this life about you getting to the next level in your life, that I need to do this and this, 
it, it will form it like that for you. It will give you clues and everything because you choose to see it like that. It's really you. you we like this is a playground here, you guys. It's a mm -hmm. playground, and and I just realized, you know, we, we just shackled ourselves. You know, we shackled ourselves. Literally, it's no one else. I had to give up that the blame game. Them, 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 them. The only opposition is within. So you create the opposition. Of course, it's a mirror. It's a mirror at all times. So I ask this, uh, if it's a mirror at all times, and if we know that it's balanced, then every kind of statistic that's made, you can't you see that it comes from an individual and that it will always keep feathering and keep changing because it's an individual that keeps making these claims and that we all individuals, but if the individual rise and meets itself in consciousness, not sure if you guys are religious or anything like that, but the resurrection of Jesus Christ is nothing but the consciousness in man rising to meet itself on a collective scale. The individual comes and meets itself on a collective scale here. And now we're seeing it all together. All this love, all this love, all this self, you know. Um, so like I said, it's, everything it's, is bad. It's so refreshing to hear, um, you know, a very talented young man like yourself express themselves. Um, yes. But how, now this is going to sound really it's going to sound slightly awful but i'm just going to say it anyway uh, do your friends think you're crazy <laughs> <laughs> you know at first glance <clears throat> maybe hearing this at first could take it used to like you know some some getting used to um yes and no Yes and no, because I even tell them that I, I didn't. I, I wasn't. Met, I didn't want to be rude to you, Jonas. That's not oh why, no, no, why, no. Why listen, I said it at all? Yeah, um, yeah. But, I, I already. I know that. I, I get. I listen. I get it. You know, and and we want to be clear as possible. I will ask you uncomfortable questions too. Possibly, oh, it's up to you right. to ask them. Answer, right, you know. Dude. But hey, that's I, what we're here for, the, man. This is the infinite selfie. I'm comfortable with myself. I'm here to let it be known. And it's such a great thing to express myself. But yes, I'm... But anyway, back, 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 back consider, to your friends thinking that you're crazy. Yeah, I consider myself, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, crazy and a bit of genius. Yeah, they looked at me like that until they spent some time really, really around me and keen getting and starting to see it happen in their experience. Yeah. Are they seeing, seeing a change in you then? Is that what you're saying? Seeing a change in me? Or, yeah, yes. because you said yes, yourself, yeah. you know, you, you, said, you said yourself, you know, high school was... A bit difficult, oh, and, yes. you know, for, and, but you seem to be a lot more. Quite well, seem to be very chilled out, very laid back. Yeah, so moment. I mean, they definitely seen a big change in me. They definitely seen a big change in me, and um, I know I'm very much appreciated. You know, if I had to compare it to the Jonas back then, more now than ever, ever because everything's from me is genuine. Even if it's someone that's even throwing hatred to me or anything, yeah. I, I know who you are. Everything mm -hmm. is genuine. And that's just you just going through your trip and your individual experience, whatever's giving you a hard time. It's just, it's yourself you have to figure out to, to overcome, you know, everything that's ignorant to another and ignorant to self is self-ignorance. And it, it, it trickles you and it, it hits you on the deepest of scales as much as in the shallowest of scales. So, yes, um, they, well, they I, I hope, a little bit of crazy. I hope the people <laughs> who are watching this and the people who are listening, listening to this will, will really... Yeah, I mean, that's the hard. Like, yeah, that's an, that's an that's a for me that's an old school mentality to being from New Absolutely. York. It's like you are Absolutely. very you're a human being until you're not. And growing up in the city, right, you don't look at someone's black, white, green, purple, or whatever, and you don't look at their. We don't care if you're straight or gay or whatever the forty other yeah, two man. letters are this week. Nobody cares, and I still go through that, and I teach that to like my steps. I'm like, listen, you people are human beings until they're not, and then when they're not. That's when they get they get put into this box, and that's when people are like, "Oh, but that's okay. They can be put into the box. They've already proved they're not a human being. Like you know, <laughs> they don't look at everybody's the same. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. it doesn't. And so that's kind of what you're saying. It's like at the end of the day, we're all the same. We're all equal too. And nobody's mm -hmm. better than this one or worse than that. It's everyone is that. But the problem is, is now the woke community, and we won't go through that because I have these <laughs> choice words for those nice people. Um, well, you're from yeah. New York, Steve, so you would never understand that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you'll never understand Yeah, <laughs> listen, uh, yeah, you know, we use the F word as a comma. Give me a break. Oh, um, yeah. So, but it's just, it's, a, I won't even tell you how we say the alphabet, but um, <laughs> it's just one of those things. It's like, get a pair of balls. If somebody says something, it's okay. It's a word. I literally heard someone say, you know, that when we were kids, it was sticks and stones will break your bones. Words will never mm -hmm. hurt me. Now kids in school are talking. 
sticks and stones, whatever, but words will hurt. I don't give a pardon my friend. I'll talk about your feelings. All right. Your feelings got hurt. Get a pair of balls. Oh, man. Have your mommy and daddy slap you around a little bit and grow up. You know what it's like? Yeah. You're not, yeah. when I was a kid, like the old can I just, comedians. Can I just, inter- can I just yes, intervene here and say other parents are available? Yes, that's right. That's right. I'm, I'm, there, are more par- like, there are more parents yeah. out there. Yeah. But <laughs> other the, parents. But the but the thing is, is that when I was a kid, if you didn't do what your mom or dad or grandparents like, they oh, gave you this look, and you knew after the look, it was like you got a slap on your bum or whatever it was. You did, and today it's like parents are like I want to be there. No, I don't want to be my kid's friend. I want my mm-hmm. child to grow up to be a productive human being that goes and does something in the world. And yeah. so I, the woke community, they should listen to what you just said because ultimately. It, in, in short, and, I, and I'm not belittling the 10 steps in the book, but mm-hmm. everyone's a human being until they're not. Mm-hmm. And if you all, and, and just treat yourself that way through the journey, we would be a much better place. But that's yeah. everyone's, oh, yeah. poli- oh, you're politically incorrect, or this isn't right. Yeah, I got your politically correct right here. All right. Yeah, so, yeah I, I mean, got it like, right here. Right, I got yeah. it from New York. I got it for you right here, pal. So, oh, yeah. and, I, and if people would just grow up, and stop being so worried. And I listened to somebody yesterday, a historian was saying, you know, now they're saying Lincoln wasn't woke enough. And I'm like, what do you mean Lincoln wasn't woke enough? Like, I don't know, do you know what he did back in the day? So I get a kick out of that. They're like, we have to take down a picture or a statue. And I'm like, seriously, you realize Mm -hmm. 100, 200 years ago, he was pretty woke. And then they'll be like, well, so-and-so had a slave. Well, I don't want to be rude, but people all over the globe had slaves in the 14th, 16th, 17th, 18th century, and people of color had slaves. That was what mm-hmm. was done. It wasn't Absolutely. just, you know, it wasn't just the, the and I mean it's, this kind of tongue in cheek, the be mad, be mean old white people, everybody yeah. did it. So yeah, yeah. the problem is, is that people, A, don't read, which is, I love to read, and B, people don't know history. So when they go, oh, look at this, like, you know what? Read a book and learn history before you go and start talking about um, things you know nothing about. And then I think that would also be, so like to your 10 steps, it's the same thing. Like you have to be enlightened. You have to be informed. You have to just, you just can't go, you know, I, I don't like this because most people don't know why they don't like it because, you know, it's like they so-and-so yeah. doesn't like it, but people don't think that's why like even this, your 10 step, I like it because it makes people expand their horizon and yeah. just at least think. So they, is- they still may be assholes when it's done. But they'll say yeah. thing, yeah, right? Yeah, and that's yeah. the but important thing. Each individual step could be a book in itself. Correct. Yes. Yeah, yeah, there you, you know, go. You know, so you know, it's 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 not it's not. Oh, I've read that. You know, like one to ten, mm-hmm. and I, so I can do it all. Right. Yeah. You know? So yeah, I got like you know, some paragraphs and all those steps where I go in depth. You know, because if I just say spaces and human imagination, calling you for you know, as somebody could just be like what. Huh? You know? <laughs> uh, well, look, let's let's add a few quotes to your profile as well, Jonas, and then we yes, give people yeah. an opportunity to reflect upon it. Yeah. Now, uh, let's sure. wait, wait before before we we go and do anything else. So the sec, this is the first book. Well, so what's the second book going to be called? And in, in a brief overview of that. Uh, well, that second book is called the Basic Guidebook to Life. Okay. And basically, it's just you. It's just a guide to help you guide yourself. You know, I'm not okay. guiding you. I'm not guiding you at all. It's a guide to help you guide yourself, you know, and we have to break away from that illusionary aspect from where that, you know, as much as there are teachers here, it's really you teaching yourself. Like, like I said, this is a self trip. You came yep. in here yourself. You're going to leave yourself, you know, and that's basically what fat is. I go in depth here. I talk about how everything comes down to you because it's left up to you. Um, I don't really talk to, I mean, I can talk about I and me. Me is personal. I is personal. But when I talk about you, you see how we share that, right? I'm talking mm-hmm. to you right now. I'm talking to you too. And you can say you're talking to you and I'm right. answering you. I heard you more than I heard my name. <laughs> <laughs> we hear it all the time. We always, we always say it in conversation. Can't you see it's the universe here, not the Godverse. It's the universe. Right. It's, it's the self here. So we talk about slavery and all this. It's self right. betraying self. Right. Self is the only creator here and destroy as much as nothing is being created and destroy him. Again, right. pointless reality cycle. And the thing that the problem is, you want to say about if we do have a problem, is we search for points, search right. for rights and wrong, rights and wrongs. This is a pointless reality. It is a pointless reality. It's a cycle. Yep. It's the point in the cycle you see here. So we're always going to have different rights, different wrongs. No one can really say what's good and what's bad as much as we say. We can know, you know, 
it's up to you. You give it whatever, you know? Right. So it's always going to be that if you give it that, you know? Mm -hmm. We search, we, we kind of shout tackle ourselves and what's my life purpose it's whatever you want to give it <laughs> yep. you know what's the meaning of my life you're the meaning you decide you know oh it becomes so much freer when you take yourself into this place because this place is not a place it's free yep. Yep. it's free you know and um that's what god wants you to come and see for yourself that's what buddha wants you to come see. it doesn't matter what kind of name you throw on it it's yourself right. <laughs> it is the self the internal self the divine self it is you it is you. We are beyond labels and forms. Yes. It's and my it's friend you. used to say, self only creates self. Yes, there you go. It. Oh, that's man. It. I, got, that's it. I have videos on YouTube channels where I just got back and make a YouTube channel where I create, uh, I, I explain certain things, even right. the so-called beginning of this existence, even though there is no true beginning of this existence. That's just for the illusionary aspect. <laughs> I agree with that. Right. So that's a whole nother show. So yeah, that's a whole, yeah, man. Hey, we can go, that's for, a whole nother show about forever, that. Ever, man. Yeah. Yes, I, well, I, we have friends that we have. We have dialogues over scotch and cigars on that, and and yeah, that's man. like for that's it. That's a many many hours. That's a like a twelve mm -hmm. part series on how we all got here type of thing. Well, well, before I leave, I do want to ask you guys this here. I love asking sure. this question too. I love asking brain teasers. I play with my friend Ben sometimes. Text him in the morning. I say this, everything we do, and I'll just tell you this, everything we do is for the feeling of it. You know, we want that call, yes, it looks good, but we desire to know what it feels like. You know, we want that woman, yes, she looks good, and I just desire what it feels like to be with her. I want this, you know, for my household. I want to know what it feels like to have this, you know. Everything comes down to the feeling, and the thought and feeling does not differ as much as it does. I can go into that, but I don't want to veer off there. But I want to ask this. If thought is directing ourselves to something that's deeper than thought itself, and words is just describing what we're actually feeling, may I ask you, where are we actually translating from? So that, so that will get into either if you believe in quantum <laughs> physics, if you believe in the Thursday hypothesis, and that goes into a whole bunch of things because that is a deeper question than you actually think because then it goes into all these other quantum mathematics and the thursday hypothesis and this there's fifty thousand hypothesis the multi-universe hypothesis the multi-field hypothesis so that's a bigger question like i said that's a whole nother show <laughs> so you should come back and we'll do that show. yeah, yeah well, I, think, I think that, uh, uh, on, that point, on that point i think generous i think we're going to we're going to leave you because uh, you know, let, let people contemplate on that. Oh yeah, I want and, to. And, yes, and, and uh, we'll we'll we're going to come back to you again, I'm sure. Jonas, thank you so much for being with us today. Yes. Uh, stay stay with us. The show will finish, but we're still here. If you know what I mean, stay with yes. us. Stephen, thank you very much again for your time today. Always a pleasure, Jonas. It was a pleasure, my friend. Yes, and, it was a pleasure. Uh, don't forget, it's uh, www two old farts two with the number two old farts dot vip. Thank you. Oh, wait. Don't forget, subscribe and like. I'm supposed to say oh, that apparently oh, from oh. a marketing. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it, of course, Stephen, it's down here. Eh? Yes, that's right. And that's cheers, everybody. Yeah, cheers. Bye. Have a great one, guys.